Okay, I've got a quick video here to show how to uh, convert uh, a Decora style switch into a momentary push button action for your home automation. Uh, a quick uh, shout out goes to a Mike Maxwell who figured this out on a different style switch. He's got a video on it that's very well done. It's just this is a different style switch. It's very similar, but it is different. So here's how you go. It's pretty quick. Um, I'm going to use a, a little pry here. You can use almost anything, a file, a um, table knife, and just put it in on the side of the switch and you pry that back over on the side here just to kind of open it up. So we'll just pop that out. And you'll notice there's a spring on the back of this switch right here. It's on the back of there. That's what the pedal goes into. And then inside the switch itself, there's a uh, the pole. I'm going to pull that out so you can see it. And it is position sensitive. On the back side of that, you'll see there's the contact surface. So you don't want to put it in upside down. That's the back side. So there's your contact surface. So when you reassemble the switch, make sure you put that back in correctly. So that's just a quick heads up. Now inside the switch, you're going to, I've just got a small jeweler screwdriver. We're going to pry back the, the mating contact that's sitting up inside there. And it's really difficult to see uh, on this particular switch. So let me see if we can get some lights on. Alexa. Turn on test bench light. Okay. Now let's see if we can get that light back in there a little bit better. So let's see if you, I can kind of see it in there. You can see, oops, move my camera around. You can kind of see it back over in the back. We just, it's pulled. You can just pull that back over to about the 50% position where it's matched up about in the middle there. Uh, I've got an older style Leviton where it's a little bit easier to see inside. Uh, I'll pull away, it's, this is the old style one. And inside there, you can actually see that the mating contact a little bit easier. So just put your screwdriver back there and pull that back up to where it's about a, where it's bent in, just about the halfway point there. And then you'll drop your contact back in. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. So um, in here, I'm going to go ahead and grab that contact. Let's go ahead and put this back. Oops, put that back inside. Make I'm matching up. Make sure I'm putting it in correctly. So I'll drop that inside there. So you can see that now. Now I'm going to put mine straight down because it keeps that the paddle, uh, the gravity will keep it straight up and down so that we don't, uh, it's easier to push the paddle back in. So I'm just lining it up and then snapping it in and you're done. So you've just now converted your uh, decor style switch into a momentary action for your smart things. Hope that helped.